What's up guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be honest, just like you, some days I don't feel like going to work, and today's one of those days where I don't feel like recording. But, typically when that happens, I reach for a recipe that I've been wanting to try, or just something fun, and today I'm gonna show you my recipe for jerk braised short ribs and a curry mashed potato. But before we get into that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these beautiful boneless short ribs. So like I said, guys, sometimes, you know, you just don't feel like getting up and going to work. I love what I do, but, you know, it's raining outside. I'm a little tired. So I'm deciding to have a little fun with it and get a little creative. I've been wanting to do this for a little while. We'll see how it turns out. You guys are getting to see it firsthand. We're gonna go ahead and salt our short ribs just like we would any other time. We're making short ribs. A little kosher salt, pink Himalayan salt, whatever you got. Let's get a little application of salt on there. Preferably a couple hours before, that way it has time to penetrate the meat. And then while we let that hang out in the fridge, we'll go ahead and get started on our jerk marinade. And this episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. Fall is right around the corner and HelloFresh is here to help you plan for the busy season ahead with tasty dishes delivered to your door. Simply choose your recipes and pick your delivery date, then lay back and enjoy the last days of summer knowing dinner is covered. The key to dinner time success? Variety. HelloFresh keeps your taste buds on their toes with 40 chef-crafted recipes to select from every week. From family-friendly to fit and wholesome, you'll always find new and exciting recipes to try and love. This fall, you've got places to be and standing at the checkout line is not one of them. Leave the meal planning and grocery shopping to HelloFresh with pre-portioned ingredients and easy step-by-step -step recipes delivered to your door, you'll save so much time and cut out some of the hassle. And that's what I love most about HelloFresh. I've been using it for a very long time and it's just super convenient, super fresh ingredients. So go to HelloFresh.com and use the code 50 Mr. Make It Happen at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com code 50 Mr. Make It Happen and get 50% off plus free shipping. All right, guys, so full disclosure, we're going to cheat a little bit using Walker's Wood products. Again, they have been a sponsor of mine, but to be honest, I've been using them since my very first trip to Jamaica over 10 years ago. One of my favorite products on the market. We're gonna use some green seasoning, which is a new product of theirs, plus their jerk marinade. Again, we're cheating a little bit, but my old football coach used to say, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. So we're going in with the jerk paste and the green seasoning, followed by the juice of one lime. Hopefully you got a nice juicy lime like me. If you don't have a lime, guys, you can go down with an orange, some orange juice, something like that, even pineapple juice. We're also going in with one scotch bonnet pepper or habanero, whatever you can find at the store. So just to offset the heat a little bit, we're going in with about a quarter cup of brown sugar. If you want it to be spicier, you can leave this out completely or use a little less, but that's what we're going with today. Next up, we're going in with about a quarter cup or so of low sodium soy sauce. I'm also gonna add just a half teaspoon of this browning. Totally optional, the jerk's already pretty dark so you don't have to go crazy there. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of ginger paste and a teaspoon of garlic paste. As for our seasonings, we're gonna add some jerk seasoning, whatever your favorite brand is. We got that Walker's wood in there so no need to go crazy. A Little bit of my all purpose to cover all of our bases. This is low sodium so no need to go crazy. And then we're also gonna add some all spice and just a touch of ground cinnamon. Last but not least, a little pinch of beef bouillon powder. That's gonna beef up the beef flavor a little bit and quietly add a little MSG to make everything taste delicious. Break out the whisk and we're gonna give that a mix to combine. You can taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference, guys. If you wanna add a little bit more seasoning, you can. If it's too spicy, you can add some more sugar. If it's not spicy enough, you can get the hot version of the Walker's Wood Marinade or add uh, some more habanero or scotch bonnet to the party. But that, my friends, is a beautiful jerk marinade, if I do say so myself. We're also gonna go ahead and just break up a little bit of thyme and add that in there too, some fresh thyme. And then we're gonna get our short ribs in there and get that hanging out for an hour or two. Even overnight, if you're feeling real crazy and you got some thyme on your hands. There we go. Smells heavenly. All right, so our short ribs have been dry brining. With that salt, they should be nice and flavorful at this point and if they're not we got an insurance policy in the form of this 
amazing jerk marinade that we just made. So let's get in there, get them coated nicely, make sure they're submerged and evenly coated in that flavor. And we'll pop that in the fridge for, you know, one to four hours, depending on how much time you got on your hands. You, you can use the same recipe for oxtail, jerk chicken, uh, whatever you like. I really like short ribs, if you haven't noticed. Uh, and I think that just works really well together. So there we go. That's going in the fridge. All right, so for our braising liquid, we got some onions, carrots, another habanero pepper, and some garlic. Give it a rough chop. And that's going to go in there with our short rib. I like to leave the habanero or scotch bonnet whole for this because it's not going to release as much heat. If you want it to be extra spicy, you can chop it up, but we're going to leave that whole. We got one chopped in our marinade, so no need to get crazy here. Then we're just going to smash the garlic and just, you know, keep the onions kind of whole. We're just going to cut them in half or quarters at this point. This is what we would typically call a lab day, which for us means we're testing out a new recipe, but I figured I'd do it live for you guys just to have a little fun. You guys let me know in the comments what you think about stuff like this. All right, guys, I'm wearing one glove like Michael Jackson. For some reason, I'm not sure why, but it's very important to sear your short ribs. So we're gonna get our skillet smoking hot. Then we're gonna add our short rib to that skillet. Make sure it gets nice and brown and beautiful. We're gonna add a tablespoon or so of avocado oil to the situation. I like avocado oil due to its high smoke point. A lot better to cook at high heat than uh, like olive oil or something like that. Now I know why I put on one glove. One clean hand, one dirty hand when you're operating in the kitchen typically. We're gonna go ahead and add our short rib to the hot skillet. Press down to make sure it's making maximum surface area contact. And just let the heat do the rest. Man, that smells good already. So while that's working, do not get rid of this marinade, guys. We're gonna add that to the pressure cooker along with everything else. Do not let that go to waste. So once they're all seared, we're gonna remove them, and then in goes all the veggies. We wanna sear them too, get the flavor to start releasing from those veggies. We can also kinda of get up some of that flavor off the bottom. Just kinda of toast the veggies a little bit. Go ahead and add in that thyme from earlier too, the, what's left of it. A little bit more avocado oil just to wake everything up. And then as that's happening, in goes the left, leftover marinade. No flavor left behind, my friends. And then once that comes to a good simmer, we're going in with one quart of beef broth. We're gonna bring that to a boil, and that is gonna be where we're gonna braise or pressure cook our short ribs in. So once you get up to a gentle simmer like so, we're gonna go ahead and add everything to the pressure cooker. I like to protect myself from burning, so we're gonna go ahead and scoop out the majority of the veggies. That way it doesn't splatter up on you. A little pro tip from somebody that's burned their forearm one too many times. Now once you get most of the veggies out, we'll just go ahead and pour the liquid in there, add the short ribs, pop that under high pressure for about 55 minutes. All right guys, so for the jerk short ribs, we're gonna plate that up with some curry mashed potatoes. I'm not exactly sure where I came up with this idea. I did look on Google and apparently curry mashed potatoes is a thing, so I didn't invent it but we're gonna go ahead and put our twist on it. So first things first, we already cooked our potatoes until they're tender, and now we're gonna get to work on our cream mixture that's gonna turn them into mashed potatoes. So half a stick of butter going in. I am cheating a little bit and using my good friends at Walker's Wood Curry Paste. This stuff is phenomenal, guys. If you like curry, you gotta give it a try. All right, so we got a half a stick of butter just about melted. 
we're gonna go in with a good tablespoon of this curry paste we may need to add a little bit more we're gonna go ahead and taste it as we go as always just want to get that mixed into the butter and just cook the curry a little bit wake everything up it's going to emulsify into that butter and fat and that is exactly what we want to see it's smelling amazing already we're also going to add a little bit of turmeric turmeric however you want to say it a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning and then we'll add salt to taste as needed At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of chicken bouillon powder too, just to amplify the flavor a little bit. And then we're going in with our heavy cream or half and half. And we're just gonna bring this to a boil until everything comes together. And it'll start to reduce a little bit and thicken up. And then we're gonna pour that right into our tender potatoes. So once it reaches a nice boil, We'll let that simmer for a minute or two. You see the colors intensifying and starting to thicken up a little bit, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna taste for salt. We did salt our potatoes as you should as well. So you shouldn't need a whole lot of salt, but we'll, we'll taste it as we add it to the potatoes. We're gonna keep it old school today and hand whip these, mostly because I can't find my potato masher. No concerns though. And with our curry concoction give that a good mix immediately you see some good color on the potatoes once you get the consistency that you want you can retire the whisk and switch to the rubber spatula or silicone spatula and just get in there until you get the consistency that you're looking for which is pretty close to this If I lost you at the curry potatoes, guys, feel free to plate this up with some white rice or just regular old mashed potatoes. But sometimes it's good to have fun and experiment. So this is what we're going with today. And that looks like a damn good curry mashed potato to me. All right, guys, so this is where all the magic is. All the flavor from the beef short ribs and everything that was in there in the, slow, in the pressure cooker. We're gonna make our sauce or gravy, whatever you wanna call it, by straining that directly into our pot making sure it's nice and you know removing all the stuff that we don't want nice and smooth is what I was trying to think to say I'm gonna bring this to a boil hit it with a slurry which is a combination of water and cornstarch and it'll thicken up beautifully pour that in while it's boiling have a nice gravy like consistency and this is the part where I say brace yourself for a trademark money shot say it with me guys looking good the only thing left to do is dig in here for a taste test but before we do that please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well all right so I just realized that my thumbnail Looks a little bit like scrambled eggs, but trust me, it's delicious. The good sign about a short rib is if you can just cut it with a fork like we just did right there. I'm just gonna make a mess. Cause it's my kitchen, I can do that. Cheers my friends, my favorite time, favorite part of the job, the moment of truth. Whenever I open a restaurant, I've got to be on it. 